Where do faith and leadership intersect? In this session, I interview Ruby Fung. She's a children's minister who believes in both developing a child's spirituality as well as their leadership potential. You're going to enjoy this, especially if you're part of a faith community. Stay tuned. Welcome to another edition of Kid Lead Academy Training Series with Dr. Alan E. Nelson, designed to help parents develop their children to lead so they can succeed. And now, here's Alan. Hey, I am so excited to have my guest today, who is Ruby Fung. And Ruby graduated with an MDiv from Talbot Seminary, that's Biola University, she is currently serving as a children's minister at Chinese Baptist Church of Central Orange County, and she loves children, and she wants to work with parents to help them know God and love others. So Kid Lead is one of the programs that she uses to train young servant leaders. She's been married for 22 years and has two children. Ruby, thanks for joining me today. Thanks, Alan. Thanks for inviting me. It's my honor. Oh, you're so sweet. I, I met you a few years ago, and I was very impressed. I'm always impressed when people are so curious about developing young leaders that I, I wanted to ask some questions. Sure, sure. How did you get interested in this, and why do you think it's so important to develop leaders while they're young? Okay, and actually, uh, I became a Christian when I was in high school. And so now God called me to be a children minister, you know, in the church. And so that's why young people is always in my heart. You know, I have a passion for young people. And so, you know, I'm very thrilled that I can be a part of developing them, helping them to know Christ and then follow Christ and become a servant leader, you know, for his kingdom. And so that's why uh, when I see your motto about, you know, if you want to change the world, focus on leaders. And if you want to, you know, change leaders, focus on them when, when they are young. And so I, I think that's captured, captivate my heart. You know, that's what I want to be a part of it. Yeah. And so that's how, you know, I, yeah, got started to involve in the kids lead and interested in young people development. That, that's exciting. So since you're in church work and in the ministry, I, I think a lot of times people in the ministry, they're they're just, and you already said it, but they're just focused on a child's faith. Mm. And so a lot of people, you know, that's all they do. But but why leadership in addition to faith? I, I want to hear why you think leadership is important. Yeah, and you know, I grew, you know, I became a Christian in high school, right? And so that's how I start to grow, you know, in the youth fellowship to be equipped and developed as a leader, you know, and, and so by serving. And I can, I could see that, you know, I totally benefited from that. And so I think that's because of those foundation. That's why, you know, later God's work in my life and called me to be a minister in the church. And now, particularly with the children, and so, you know, that's always have a heart that, oh, you know, if I can invest the time to help them grow in faith and also in service, you know, that's how we exercise our faith, right? And then, you know, we can serve God and we can bless other people for God's kingdom. And so that's why it's really a joyful journey for me. And so I want to invest that, you know. But although at first, before I know Kisnit, I don't know what I can do, you know, do I have anything to follow? But until I came to this church like, in 2018, like uh, Chinese Baptist Church of Central Orange County. And so the previous uh, children pastor, Pastor Zhong Li, you know, started using Kids Lead, the Lead Young program. And so this is something really new for me. And so when I came here, and then I got to know that, and we had a Kids Lead program. And so I suppose I need to be trained as a certified uh, trainer so that I can continue to do it. That's why I got to know about Kids Lead and got trained, you know, and with Ellen, your help. And then, you know, I it has been my fifth year running this program in our church. Yeah. That's and so great. it has been such a good tool for us to help the kids to grow in in service, in serving the law. So so doing this for five years, you've probably mm -hmm. seen some of the results. What what are some of the benefits you've seen of kids who've gone through the training, gone through the program? Yeah, definitely. You know, I I can see some very shy kids like because uh, 
for us, we didn't really, you know, like, okay, you have the this gift of leadership. And so we in uh, we let you in. Actually, whoever, you know, like in fifth and sixth grade, they have a heart to be a part of it. And so we allow them to join. And so that's why I can see, you know, we have some born, you know, to be leaders, natural leaders. I can also see there are some like followers, like very shy and don't have confidence. But, you know, in both of this group, I can see that growth, you know, after the whole year of uh, the program. Like, you know, if there are some uh, shy one at the beginning, they I can't even hear what they say. You know, I said, can you speed up a little bit? Because they don't have confidence. But yeah. later at the end, you know, they they speed up, they step up out of their comfort zone. They even need, you know, their team to have, to accomplish a task. And so that's really amazed me. I can really see their growth. And also from, from some, you know, like a born natural leader, you, I can see that they, you know, they are trying to have more skill and confidence in leading and, you know, and how to cheer up for the team, how to encourage the team, you know, how to give instruction. And, you know, actually, they, you know, most of them, they are helping us to lead the, um, the games time for our fellowship. Because, you know, for the other Friday, we have a, a fourth to sixth grade fellowship. And usually we have half an hour game time. And so those leaders, they will plan a game and they will lead the game with their peers, like 25, 30 kids. I was, I'm always very amazed to see how they can do it. Even I, I before I, I lead the game, you know, I let the game is not easy. But now seeing the kids leading their peers to for half an hour games, that's totally amazed me, you know. And, and, and that's why I'm really thankful having, you know, this program to train them up. To, to do something great, yeah. Ruby, I'm, I love it when I hear people like you tell the stories of actually not just training kids mm. how to lead, but then unleashing them, you know, actually yes. have them practice. Yes. And I think that's a great thing of a school or a faith community is that you can actually give them practice. You know, they're, they're mm. not going to work for an organization. No one's going to hire them at this yes. stage, but you can let them practice and you say they mm. do a good job. Thanks. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about what you hear from parents, parents whose mm. kids are experiencing leadership training. What What is some of the feedback mm. you get? And so usually the parents told us uh, they love kids lead program because it's very fun, very interactive. <laughs> they like that more than, you know, our usual fellowship or Sunday school. <laughs> and so, and so I, I think because of the nature of kids lead, you know, we have every time we have bring with games, we have uh, neat activities. And so, you know, that's why the, the parent they said, oh, they enjoy that, you know, they have fun, you know, and they also learn how to be a how to be a leader. And also, you know, one of the things I try to get the leader, you know, the parent to come to see, you know, usually we have an orientation for the first time to explain to them what they are learning. And then later I will try to recruit some of them to be the coaches. And so, you know, those who are coaches, they even have more, you know, on the spot experience with the kids seeing how they, you know, they grow, you know, through the program. And so that's why, you know, usually they will be very amazed. I have a coach, like uh, Michael, you may have seen him. He has been been a coach in the Kisney for six to seven years. Yeah, even his boys has grown up to be, you know, now in going to college, but he still stay there. You know, he really enjoyed the program. Oh, yeah. That's interesting. So if a, if a parent is thinking, mm. oh my gosh, you know, my kid is not a leader or they're too young to learn leadership mm. or who am I as a parent to mm. try to teach my kid about leading, mm. what sort of advice or encouragement would you give them? You know, I, I will highly, you know, uh, encourage you as a parent, you know, to let your kids join and also be a part of it. Yeah, because like uh, we know, right? God assigned all the parents to be the spiritual leaders for for our kids. You know, we are the the, the key person, not the children minister, not the children pastor, but you know the parent. And so when you are training, you know our kids spiritually to grow, you know, ultimately they need to serve, be a servant leader, right? You know, serving in in the church in whatever position, you know, or capacity. And so definitely. They need to be trained and equipped. That's what, you know, God wants us, you know, in the church to do it. 
And so, you know, if we have such a good program, why why not give a try? And and also not just let your kids be there. Thinking about be a coach too, be part of, you know, in 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 the in the program. And so, you know, you can immediately, you know, give them feedback or guidance and also see how they has grown, you know, through the program. I think it's really rewarding and also investing in the right place. Yeah. And so that's why I, I will highly recommend, you know, the parent. Give a try. Yeah. That's good. Well, Ruby, I just I want to say thank you for being one of those people who invests in kids when they're young and leaders when they're young. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I guess part of my reason or rationale behind the program was I wish I was one of those kids because I, mm -hmm. I was usually the leader who not always, but sometimes would get into trouble. And, you know, mm -hmm. uh, at school, I would kind of get attention away from the teacher and teachers don't seem to like that for some reason. Yes, so I, yes. I just think it's so wonderful having competent, smart, sharp adults like you who invest their talents with the future leaders, not just existing leaders. So I, I want to mm. applaud you. Yeah, But thank and you for developing the whole program so that we can take good use of it. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. Any last words you'd like to say to people like you or people in faith-based communities who maybe have thought of church just as a place to build faith but not really to build leadership you know personally for me faith and leadership they come hands in hand and so that's why uh, we cannot let one of them you know because for our faith we need place to exercise right and to execute you know and to show and so that's for our action and so what types of action is our service and although may may not be everyone be in the leadership position but i think in kids need we are not just learning to be a leader, also learning to be a follower yeah, as a team, you know, because it's stress on teamwork. I think for our church, you know, we are as a team, as a family, you know, serve God together. I, I think, you know, that that will be a beautiful place, you know, we can really learn it both ways, you know, leader, follower, you know, as a team, how we can do accomplish great tasks for God. And, and so I, I, that's my last word. I, I, I just, you know, and pray for you. God continues to give you creativity and idea to, you know, and further this program. And so hopefully more can get benefited. Thanks, Ruby. Keep up the good work. And uh, it's just okay. been an honor to know you. So thanks. Sure. Very much. Yeah, me too. Thank you.